Hi again, here from the Computing Conference 2018 in London, and I'm joined by the Senior Lecturer in Computer Gaming, um, Shabnam Esvalani. Welcome. How are you feeling the conference so far? It was very good. It was very uh, good for networking mm -hmm. and listening to the presentations. It was very So you had a good time? Yeah. That's good. Enjoyed a lot. Now, you focus on computer gaming and you're working on a rehab game. Can it's you correct. tell me more about that? Yes. Uh, rehab game is working, uh, it uses a computer game mm -hmm. and working on uh, body movement, especially upper limb. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, using uh, virtual reality right. in order to interact with 3D uh, objects mm -hmm. uh, which are spawned in the, in the scene. So at the same time, the player needs to reach to the objects uh, while all the data of mm -hmm. the joints and body are collected. Okay. Uh, and um, there it has different steps, the intensity of the game, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the uh, duration of the game can be adjusted by the um, player, mm -hmm. him or herself, yeah. or clinician, right. uh, and being prescribed by the physiotherapist. Yeah. And people can have access um, in their home uh, and play the game okay. as many times as they like. So it's focused on the upper body and it's called a rehab game because it it's for rehabilitating patients? It is, yeah. It is, uh, at the moment the focus is upper limb, mm -hmm. but we want to expand it for the gait and also balance. Mm -hmm. uh, we have worked on balance a bit, but mm -hmm. uh, it needs to be uh, developed further. Uh, but that, yeah. that is the goal eventually. That is it. So, goal. if I understand correctly, the patient is the player in the game. The patient is a player and the patient is controlling the game. Okay. Uh, in uh, general, when uh, you see uh, people interacting with game, there is a Chrome controller yeah. and uh, devices uh, or they use the mouse or keyboard. Yeah, you have to hold something. Yeah. Hold something. But in here, because we are using the Kinect Xbox mm -hmm. uh, and it reads all the orientations of the body mm -hmm. and the joints, uh, we can collect all these data and at the same time interacting with the While computer and yeah. 3D objects or virtual objects. So you're collecting a whole bunch of data and, and what do you use that for? The data uh, are uh, going to be analyzed and we, first of all, the data are used by the algorithm itself. Mm -hmm. We use a uh, Monte Carlo al algorithm which uh, is a learning, it's a randomized algorithm, mm. it is learning from the player's activities. Okay. And, uh, um, proposes the next step okay. for the player, so it's which, yep. which best suits the player's performance. Okay, so in, in that way the patient is um, supported in, in doing the right exercises at the right moment. Absolutely, because, uh, it has uh, another scenarios that the therapist can play along the patient at the same time and uh, instruct what um, rotations and orientation would be the best and the player or the patient can copy and get the instruction at the same time. Perfect. And what is your aim with the game besides collecting data and helping them do the right exercises? Is it also meant to be a game to help them actually do the exercises? Make the it less boring maybe? Uh, the main objective is uh, because any rehabilitation and physiotherapy requires repetitive mm. activities. Yes, I, I know. I think everyone has had those exercises. And yeah. I think uh, people don't like it. But interaction with virtual environment enables them to repeatedly mm. do one action without realizing they are doing the action right. for the benefit of improving the so performance. They're distracted because they of the game. are absolutely oh, perfect. And and what what should I do in the game? Is it like picking up things or do I? Have uh, to it has uh, four at the moment four scenarios. One of them is uh, fruits are spawned inside the environment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not real. It's virtual. The uh, patient either sits or stands in front of the. Uh, screen of the computer mm -hmm. and uh, objects are within the screen. Right. So the main goal is reaching these objects and 
collect them, mm -hmm. so grab them and don't let it go. Mm -hmm. uh, bring it above the basket, which there is a virtual basket. As they take it above the basket, the color in the basket indicates if it's the right place to be released or not. Uh, if it's the right place, the green dots and particles mm -hmm. is indicating that you did a right job. And if it's not, uh, so you don't, the player don't get any scores mm -hmm. and need to repeat the same. Try again. Thing. Uh, so the timing of having the um, fruit spawned in the environment mm -hmm. is assessed and it's important. How, how long does it take for the player to reach the object is important. So the other scenario is for the player to, <coughs> there, uh, there are some um, virtual buttons that mm -hmm. players should reach them, yeah. hold the hand for a certain time so without static. static. And yeah. we measure how shaky the hand is or how static it is. And, and, and that way you can improve the treatment reading that data again. Absolutely. Right. And also uh, because it gives visual feedback to mm -hmm. the player as well as the scoring encourages the player mm -hmm. to first of all see what they're doing and how they can improve themselves. And, and they can do it at, at home, I understand. They can do it at home, but players need to have access to connect. Yes. So we use uh, another device along that, which player can use or it's not. So it's, uh, it's quite easy to use. It's not always, you, ha you, you can pick to use it or not use it, and it reads the arms muscle activities. Ah, okay. And it is another extra information we collect from the game. Some extra and from data, the yeah, I understand. Yeah. Where would you like it to go for the future? I think uh, the future, I'm really excited. Home? Yeah, I'm really excited about the future. And uh, the most important thing is uh, keeping up to date with uh, the technology mm -hmm. and being able to learn and use them mm -hmm. in for well-being, for uh, improving or transferring the world around us. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I want to see more people are using this technique mm -hmm. or this system at home, take benefit and enjoy using them and uh, being able to uh, give people access freely without any restriction because mm -hmm. at the moment we need to um, go through the process of ethics uh, uh, to be able to give access to yeah. NHS which hasn't happened yet. We are in a process of it, yeah. Yeah, getting that happen, but you need an extra Hopefully, little bit. Yeah. So maybe that will be the next step. Well, Hopefully, great. Yeah. Thank you so much for explaining it to us. Good Thank luck with you. it. And maybe we'll see it in every home in a couple of years. Thanks. Sure. Now, if you want to watch some more videos about this subject or totally different subjects, feel free to click on the videos below. And I'll hope to see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>